What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beat Down. I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. So, we're running just a little bit behind schedule on um, the Halloween special, but eh, you know, not too bad. Mostly because already uh, my Liz is max ascended, so no issues there. But yeah, anyways, the last time we got to the uh, Ghost and Goblins homage reference, whatever. And now we've gone back to the start for some reason. Let's find out the reason as we enter new game plus. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> Alright, so, Ronsos. So, Seba. Uh, let's see, uh... There we go, sabers acquired. Let's do this. We've come back. Ignoring the fact that there's a giant Siegfried floating in the night sky, what could it be that Elizabeth doesn't understand? Green Man, you seem to have some idea. Huh? Don't play dumb. You were the only one who had a knowing look on your face. Oh, yeah. Probably. What? What is it? What don't I understand? Didn't you notice something about the town? The town? Now that you mention it, nobody was preparing for Halloween. Everyone was locked up in their houses. Isn't that because the queen in that pyramid banned all the festivities? No. The lack of activity was apparent long before she even came. Huh? Let me fill you in. You were so busy getting excited for Halloween that you left all your administrative duties in the lurch. Oh. This is so dumb. Don't owe me. And because you were doing nothing as a leader, the townspeople didn't know if it was okay to get ready for the festival or not. I don't care. Neither did your soldiers. They couldn't decide whether to go forward with the preparations or whether to stop them. You were the only one who was getting excited for Halloween, basically. Uh... Th that's really bad. That's... So that's it. So you alone got swept up in Halloween fever and you forgot to order preparations to begin with. I'm in shock. How can you be a ruler if you don't care for your people? A ruler must first ensure that their subordinates' bellies are full. Only then can the ruler eat. Chomp chomp. B but I was really busy preparing for the concert. There's really no excuse for what you've done. What should I do, puppy? Uncle Vlad was really mad. Oh my god, I don't care. This is literally probably the lamest fucking reasoning I've ever heard. Oh, Elizabeth forsook... Forsake... Forsake... What's the past tense of forsake? Forsaken. I think that's it. Oh no, Elizabeth for has forsaken her duties. And therefore, no one was preparing for Halloween. Oh my, the calamity. Excuse me while I put it in, on my top of priorities list, while literally the entirety of history is burning to ash at Solomon's whim. I 
I get at this point that most of the events are supposed to be lighthearted and everything else, but I don't know. It it always feels like the events are trying to be Carnival Phantasm, but they're trying to self-interject them in something like, say, Heaven's Feel. I don't know. It's just... It, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. It's kind of like that thing, like, where I talk about where events suffer from, suffer, like, plot schizophrenia, where they start out really dark and serious and then immediately just flip instantly to being, like, hilarious and more cheerful. This is kind of how it feels. It's like the main plot is kind of, there are comedical aspects to it, but it's mostly in a serious tone for a lot of it or at least when it needs to be as opposed to the events are just a lot of oh this is silly good fun ha 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 fun 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 i don't know i just wanted to point that out anyways let's make it the best halloween ever the best ever but how well all you have to do is tell the townspeople that halloween's begun that's right elizabeth let's start halloween properly y you're right but how? Hand out pumpkins, throw sweets, and have the little brats get their costumes ready. And then get rid of the wandering ghosts drawn to the festivities. G got it. Huh. <sighs> then make the announcement. Huh? Make the announcement. Tell everyone that the festival you promised them, the one with overflowing sweets, is set to begin. As a leader, you must be capable of such a proclamation, especially given how loud you usually are. You're yeah, right. I can't just lip sync along with some recording through a mic. My pride won't allow it. Here I go. This is Elizabeth Bathory, the ruler of Castle. I'm sorry I'm late, but I have an announcement. Let the Halloween festivities commence. Be careful! Elizabeth's proclamation made the dead burst from the ground! As I expected, your words make the dead scream in terror. It's time for this Halloween thing to begin. Come, Master! I'm seeing lots of pumpkin heads. Let's smash them all. Master, I'll do my best. This time, I will do Halloween right! Why does this feel like the moral of... Nightmare Before Christmas, except without the Christmas aspect. I don't know, just something I was thinking on. I just realized I brought two Artorias. I didn't even mean to do this. There we go. Sure, kill it, Elizabeth. Knock yourself out. As for you guys, well... Time for you guys to go the hell away. Spinning Twirling Vortex Death Blade Sword Attack. I don't know. Oh, 
<laughs> Problem solved. Hindsight, I should have brought Salter. That would have been funnier. We got a lot of pumpkins. Let's give them to the people. This should get Halloween off to a good start. That's right. You gotta start with a strong opening act. Yeah. 